Welcome to a composites tip from the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. If you're new to composites, at some point you're probably going to want to degas your resin. If you watched some degassing videos, they'll tell you that at the end of your degassing, you should let the air pressure back into your vacuum chamber slowly. But they frequently don't tell you why. Well, I stumbled across why on my second degassing. Frequently on these degassing chambers, the inlet and outlet both point straight down into the chamber. And of course, that's where your cup of resin sits, right underneath those inlets and outlets. On many of these vacuum pots, there's a valve that will let you release the vacuum on the vacuum chamber. And the air will rush down into the vacuum pot through the valve straight down toward your cup of resin. If you let that vacuum in fast, you just open that valve wide open quickly, there is going to be a jet of air streaming straight down into your resin pot right at your cup of resin. What that will then do is splash that resin out in a huge mist and big droplets. If you look at the underside of my resin jar lid, you can see it's all speckled. That is epoxy that flew up out of the cup and throughout the inside of my jar. Although I'm not positive, I believe at least some of that epoxy, a drop or two possibly, flew up into my vacuum gauge because it's been reading off by cold pounds ever since I did this. Now, depending on your vacuum jar, you got a couple ways to let the air in slowly. If you have a valve, just barely crack it until you just start to hear the air come in and then just stop and leave it. Let it equalize. If your vacuum jar is a little bit like one that I built, where you screw on a flared fitting for the vacuum hose onto your jar, then just barely unscrew that fitting until it starts to let air in and then again, just leave it. If it has a little bit of trouble, you can jiggle it a little bit, but that's all you really need to do. Well, I hope this composite tip was good for you. There are more coming your way.